Welcome back to Action Drama Recaps. Today I'll be sharing a story with you. We hope you enjoy it. The movie begins in Poland. In the year 1978, Jurek is stealing from a pharmacy, while his girlfriend, Graznia, is on the lookout. But a couple of cops spot him. They run away from the cops, and when they lose him, they head inside a club filled with junkies. The two get high and fall asleep. When Yurik wakes up, he goes to the bathroom, and his reflection starts talking to him. But the bathroom door opens, and his girlfriend's dad, who is a cop, barges in, warning him not to see her again. But of course, Yurik doesn't listen to this, and continues sneaking around with his daughter, until he gets caught stealing, and is brought into the station. So the father interrogates him, beating him up, tying him up in the hospital. But Graznia sneaks in, and lets him go. Yurik then goes home and it's revealed that he has a great relationship with his mother. But sadly, his father abuses him. Our movie goes forward by two years. In this scene, Yurik's reflection is looking nice, smiling. But when he turns around and shows his real face, he looks so bad from all the shrooms he's consumed. Graznia over there is looking just as bad as he is. She then reveals to him that she's pregnant. The news makes the guy so excited that he goes home to tell his mom, only to find his dad beating her. So he gets in the middle, but his dad beats him as well. He ends up getting a cut on his eyebrow. So he heads over to Dr. Ewa to get this wound on his eyebrow treated, but instead he tries stealing the meds in the hospital and gets caught by the doctor with the police arriving and putting him in jail. So now while locked up, he's experiencing withdrawal while also getting abused by his cellmates. When his mother comes to visit, he learns that Graznia doesn't want to keep their baby. So later that night, he swallows a fork, bringing him to the hospital for surgery. When he wakes up in the hospital, he tries to escape, but Graznia's father catches him. So Yurik tells him that she's pregnant. He gets released from jail and goes to the junkie club talking with his friend, Andres, who's also a junkie, and he learns that Graznia got an abortion. They both end up falling asleep, but when Yurik wakes up, he doesn't notice that his boy had just OD'd, and he still brings him to the hospital, but it's too late, and Andres has passed. Past. At the funeral, Yurik sees Graznia again. And as it turns out, she didn't get rid of the baby. But her father's also there. And he pushes Yurik into a grave hole. And she throws flowers on him. Yurik goes home and stares at himself in the mirror. But suddenly, he turns around and his reflection looks at him. Watching him as he ends his own life. Luckily, his mother finds him on time and saves him. He wakes up in the hospital with the doctor. And he tells her to help him. The next scene is set in Roklaw in 1984. The doctor brings Yurik who's now looking all better to a rehab center. He checks in and his head is shaved as part of the program. He goes through withdrawal again and he keeps a photo of Graznia to make himself keep pushing for it. Now, while at rehab, he starts getting in touch with his athletic side. He goes on a run every day until he's faster than the others. He's focused on daily tasks like cleaning and washing dishes and he always gets everything done. Now, as he's getting better and better in rehab, Powell takes him to the pool to help the pool manager, who remembers him as a junkie for trying to steal from him before, as he fell into the pool and couldn't swim. Later after his shift, Yurik's asking the manager if he can stay a few hours to practice swimming, and the manager agrees. Back at rehab, one of the members relapsed and takes herself out. Powell blames the incident on her weakness, but Yurik questions if it's her weakness or Powell's methods. That ended up with him getting punished and his hair shaved off again. So he's thrown back into chores like before. Despite all this, Yurik still trains. He runs every day, also swimming now. And he even gets himself a broken bicycle, which he fixes and uses. When a triathlon is held in their town, he joins up. But it's not because he wants to win but to see if he can do it. And even though he's the last one to finish that marathon, he's still very happy and just proved to himself that he could do it. So in the next scene, he waits for Dr. Ewa outside the hospital. She's glad to see him now that he's looking better than last time. He then asks her to be his dance partner in his dance class and she agrees. They dance together during class, all in sync, having a great time together. When the class ends, they walk back to her car. Yurik makes a move and kisses her, but she rejects him. He goes back to rehab and looks at his reflection, seeing his junkie self. He tells his reflection that he doesn't want to be him anymore and ends up breaking that mirror. In the next scene, he goes back to visit his mom. And while they're eating, his friend, Krizhik, throws pebbles at his window trying to talk to him. As a rule, he can't talk to his old junkie friends, so he sends his mom to talk to him. He learns about Grozny's condition and he visits her in the hospital, but she's already brain dead. He also sees his daughter there, but her father won't let him talk to her. 
So he goes back to rehab and is asked if he has a confession to make, and he denies it. But the rehab facilitator, Marek, confronts him about visiting Groznia. So, he confesses. Marek tells him that's against the rules, and he gets his hair shaved off. That made Yurik upset, so he leaves the facility. Now, as he's going back to his hometown, he finds out that Groznia had passed away. Eventually, with nowhere to go and nothing to do, he goes back. The next day, he enters rehab with a shaved head and is proclaimed to have been able to manage himself and thus congratulated. A few months go by and he visits his ex-girlfriend's grave and then gets back to his pool job. One time, as he's doing his after-hour swim, a few friends of the pool manager see him and they make a deal with the manager that if they finish their drinks, and Yurik is still swimming, they'll let him join their club. The manager agrees, but in one condition. He'll train Yurik, and so he does, training him to be a better swimmer. He becomes Yurik's coach. Yurik, also competing in a cycling competition, wins a trophy. He also wants to compete in this other triathlon, so his coach tells him about the Ironman competition in the US, and Yurik becomes interested. But his coach tells him that he has to break the European Ironman record first, before he can compete in the US. So, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, during one of his hospital visits, he sees the doctor again, who checks on him to make sure he's been clean. After his checkup, she gives him her number, and they go out on a date. They also end up together. In our next scene, Yurik meets with Krasnya's father. He tells him that he'll never allow him to see his daughter, even when he's dead. But Yurik tells him that he's not ready for that responsibility now. But when he is, he will fight for her. He also asks him to close two roads for a competition that only has him as the participant. He gives Yurik the permits, and he's able to break that European record for Iron Man, with those records being sent to the US for that competition. But unfortunately, as he's training one night, he gets hit by a car while he's cycling. Now he's in a terrible condition and can't even walk. The doctor takes care of him and stays with him in the hospital. One time, Krasnya's father comes to visit him, and he gives Yurik a new passport, telling him to get back on his feet. Yurik tells him that he may walk, but he can never run again. But Groznya's dad reminds him that he's been in worse situations before. And before he leaves, he tells Yurik that his daughter's name is Lilka. This gives Yurik more hope, and he pushes himself every day to be able to walk again. And nine months later, he's back to training. He's running and swimming, but sadly, the club had shut down his funds for the US after the accident. But the coach's friends put together a fundraiser and raise enough money for him to go to the US with his coach to compete in this Ironman competition. Now when they get there, the coach tells him that the US has doubled the challenges in this competition. He tells Yurik that they can just stay a bit, have a good time, and then go home, telling everyone that the US Ironman changed the rules. But Yurik tells his coach that he'll compete despite everything. The competition day arrives. The first challenge is swimming. And while swimming, he suddenly almost drowned. The competition's lifeguards pull him out of the water, and when he's able to breathe again, he jumps back in and finishes the challenge. When he gets to the cycling part, his coach tells him that he's 10 minutes behind, but Yurik pushes through and is able to get ahead in cycling. On the third challenge, running, he's alone on that road, with the coach following behind in the truck. Yurik suddenly falls to the ground and his coach immediately goes to him. He removes his shoes, and his foot is already bleeding. He asks for a knife, cuts that toe box of his shoe, and continues with the race. But as he's nearing the finish line, his view changes, and he's back in his hometown. He sees all his junky friends, even Groznya. He tells her that she's dead, and he leaves her to reach the finish line. But then one of his junkie selves stop him. He ends up in a fist fight with him, telling him that he'll never get rid of his old junkie self. Yurik's close to giving up, but he sees Ewa and Lilka standing at the finish line waiting for him. So he gets up and defeats his other self. And the next thing he knows, he's back in the race and almost at the finish line. Everyone's cheering him on, but with how tired and weak he is, he falls down. But he still doesn't give up and just crawls towards the end. Then he sees his two women again, and it pushes him to stand up. And he hits that finish line, and wins the entire Iron Man competition. Our movie ends with the real footage of Yurik during that competition. And he says that he's living proof that addicts can get out of their situation. We want to thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for more awesome recaps.